One of the major questions we faced when we opened this exhibition in 2004 was where should we end the story? Many people thought we should end with the war in Vietnam because even though we were involved in more recent conflicts, they really weren't history. We couldn't really interpret them in the same way we could earlier conflicts. But we on the exhibit team thought if our theme is wars are defining moments in American history, we said no more so than today. And the conflicts that we were involved in then and are still involved in today are shaping our history right now. You're standing here in front of some uh, components of the World Trade Center, which, as you can see, they're bent. They were so affected by the heat of that jet fuel that blew up, they just bent and gnarled. And we have here, uh, for example, a phone from uh, the plane that went down, Flight 93, that went down to Pennsylvania. One of the most poignant moments for me in this exhibition is having parents of someone who died on that flight, but had talked to uh, this young woman uh, on the telephone. And the father saying to me, I like to think this phone is the one she called me on. So it really tells you the story of how these artifacts can trigger memories and can be important memorials uh, to people whose lives shape the history of our nation. One of the major themes of this exhibition is that wars demand great sacrifice on the battlefield and on the home front from soldiers and civilians alike. The highest recognition of that sacrifice in our nation uh, is the Medal of Honor that's accorded to a very few number of men and women who, who have given their lives or, or done extreme acts of valor on the battlefield. And this section recognizes the role of the Medal of Honor the honor it accords and the significance it has in our nation's story. We felt that the Medal of Honor section was the appropriate conclusion because the main theme of the exhibit is wars have been defining moments in American history. You can't win wars without sacrifice. You can't win wars without great valor on the part of many, many people. And this recognition of that valor and the importance of it to the preservation of our nation seemed like the appropriate conclusion of an exhibit that looked at the role of wars in shaping our nation. We in America like to think that we're peace-loving people, but the truth is our, war, our, our history has been shaped by war in most of the years that we've been a nation. We were born out of a war and we're fighting wars today and we've been fighting wars with somebody over something through most of the years that we've been a country. Whether we like it or not, we have to come to grips with that aspect of who we are as a people, understand its significance. But the preservation of the nation, uh, its ability to prevail, has a lot to do with the valor of the soldiers, the men and women who fight for this country.